Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. It's January 29th, 2014, and let's get straight into our top story tonight. Obama promises to enact gun control with or without Congress. Now, this is no surprise to me because he said he wouldn't take your rifle away. He wouldn't take your shotgun away. Meanwhile, he's in the debates with Romney saying he wants to get rid of cheap handguns. He wants to get rid of AK-47s, and this is just more proof positive of those things he said way back then. I intend to keep trying, said Mr. Obama, trying with or without Congress to help stop more tragedies from visiting innocent Americans in our movie theaters, shopping malls, or schools like Sandy Hook. Citizenship means standing up for the lives that gun violence steals from us every day. And I like how he brings in the citizenship aspect because, you know, if you're a citizen, if you want to become a new citizen, I think is really what he's saying here. Just come to our country, give up your rights, give up your gun rights, or never own a gun in, uh, in general, and that will make Mr. Obama very, very happy. It's just another one of these things, uh, you know, I'm not going to take your guns away. You can keep your health care plan, your taxes won't increase, or any number of whoppers that he's given out in the past. And we have more on this because people are tired of hearing all these whoppers. CNN poll, 67% oppose Obama's executive actions. Well, I'm glad to see that people are starting to wake up to this. A CNN ORC poll of viewers who watched last night's State of the Union address found that 67% opposed Barack Obama's plan to pursue his political agenda via executive orders. Just 30% said they want Obama to take unilateral action, with 67% opposing his executive agenda. I think people are finally starting to realize that if I give all these powers to Barack Obama or George Bush or Bill Clinton or whoever it may be, then the next person will have all these same powers. And that's the thing that you don't want. Because maybe you think it is okay for Obama to come in like a tyrant and say, yes, you can do this. No, you can't do that. I'll act without Congress. I'll go to war without Congress. I'll take away your guns without Congress. But when people realize this, well, maybe the next guy may be a Republican. And you have to break out of this left-right paradigm. But they say, maybe the next guy will be a Republican. And I don't want him to have all those same powers. That's the mindset you have to have. Get rid of the left-right paradigm and don't give powers to Obama if you don't want somebody else to have those same powers. Now, somebody has been very critical of President Obama, and you know, I can't really blame him. This is Representative Weber. Obama is a socialistic dictator. And uh, this is Randy Weber from Texas. He tweeted out, on the floor of House, waiting on Commandant in Chief, the socialistic dictator who's been feeding U.S. a line, or is it a line? And, you know, other people have had uh, similar comments. Rand Paul came out with some comments not as eloquent as these. But, you know, people are waking up to this and they're speaking out because they say it's rude to stand up during Obama's speech and call him a liar or call him a dictator. Maybe that is bad manners. But I also think it is bad manners to stand up there in front of your audience, being the American people, and just lie to them. You know, yes, miss, I'll give you a new house or no, your taxes won't increase or yes, you can keep your current health care plan or, you know, uh, you set the red line for Syria, not me. Just to go up there and lie to people, I think that's just as disrespectful as any comments that may be made later. So, you know, you can say which is first, the chicken or the egg, but, you know, the I guess the roosters are coming home to roost or however that saying goes. We'll move on to uh, more comments on the speech from last night. This is Crothammer. When Obama repeated Guantanamo, you knew he'd sort of run out of ideas. Now, this is conservative commentator Charles Crothammer, and he said these uh, about the State of the Union address, and he called it the chestnut speech because they're full of old chestnuts. And he says, when he repeated Guantanamo, which is a cause he gave up on himself years ago, you knew he had run out of ideas. And yeah, you know, even back when I was an Obama supporter, I voted for him back in uh, 2008, you know, the, he said, I'm going to shut down Guantanamo Bay, and I'm thinking, what are you going to do with all these people, uh, you know, in Guantanamo Bay? You're either going to have to release them or move them to some other site. You know, so he's going to take the prisoners out of Blackgate and move them to Arkham Asylum uh, is, is seemingly what he appears to be doing to me. He wants to move these people to a black site with even less oversight from the U.S. so people won't know about what's going on in these, uh, in these prisons like Guantanamo Bay. And uh, not just that, you still got troops overseas and nothing he's really said would happen as happened except, you know, the uh, deterioration of your rights. Now, we'll move from Obama to somebody who actually deserves a peace prize. You know, Obama has his peace prize, but Edward Snowden, the guy who gave us all the information on prison in the NSA, the lawmakers in uh, Norway want to give Edward Snowden the Nobel Peace Prize. And I'm all for it. And not only me, but us here at InfoWars, we have a Facebook page, Award Edward Snowden the Nobel Prize. And you can go to InfoWars.com. You can link to that site and vote for Edward Snowden right there. Give him a thumbs up. If nothing else, just give the guy some encouragement. And we need to support these guys, guys like Snowden. And, you know, say, well, it's just giving the guy a thumbs up on a Facebook page. That may be the morale booster he needs. Because if he wins the Nobel Prize, uh, lo and behold, he does. And I wouldn't, 
uh, have any problems if he did. We just need to slowly show these guys support, not just guys like Snowden, but guys like Sheriff Nick Finch in Florida. He said, you know, I'm not going to have these unconstitutional laws in my county. He throws out a case about a guy who was arrested for a legal lawful weapon. The system came after him. But thanks to the work from constitutional sheriffs like Sheriff Mack, Nick Finch was able to beat the rap and beat the ride. And we have to support these guys and show them that we really, truly appreciate the things that we do. So we'll go from a guy like Sheriff Nick Finch to now the people up in Illinois, you know, those gun grabbers up there who don't want you to be armed. And this is case in point. Now, they have the medical marijuana going on in Illinois. And you may say, well, that's a good thing. Well, it's kind of a bad thing because to smoke your medical marijuana, they don't want you to have your concealed carry. They don't want you to be a licensed weapon holder. So this is the situation that we see. And if you look at page, this is page 34 in the Illinois Register of the Department of Public Health. And it says, registered qualifying patients and designated caregivers are not eligible for a firearms owner identification card or a firearms concealed carry license. So if you want a right to treat yourself medically, and to my, as far as I'm concerned, medical marijuana is just as good as anything you can get at the pharmacy, maybe even better because you don't have all these uh, weird guys in lab coats you know, making things in their basement. But, you know, they, they want you to give up your right to medicate yourself as you see fit and uh, exchange that for your right to bear arms. And I don't think you should have to do that. Just like here in, in Texas, they want you to give up certain rights to be able to, to uh, concealed carry or maybe even open carry. They don't want you to open carry at the Capitol anymore because somebody made a policy or whatever. I still don't even know what that's about. Just tyranny all around. Keep your guns and medicate yourself. Uh, we have that movie, American Drug War II, and it's just about this topic, about a family who wanted to medicate their child using cannabis, using um, marijuana, and they shut it down, and you know, lo and behold, the child died. It's a very sad story, and you can find that at the InfoWars shop. Now, we'll move on from a child dying to now a child being molested by the TSA. This happened to actor Alec Baldwin. TSA, a disgrace for patting down my infant daughter. This is the tweet from the controversial actor Alec Baldwin. Flying to Nassau, Bahamas, to New York, TSA random selects my five-month-year-old daughter for a pat-down. I am not kidding. And this is no laughing matter. Regardless of what you feel about Alec Baldwin, his uh, controversial comments, he yells at people in the streets, the paparazzi and so forth. You know, have mercy for this guy's child. Why do you need to pat down a little girl when we flew out to, uh, to California, myself and the crew recently here? We saw an old man, you know, probably fought in some more, willing himself through the TSA checkpoint. They make the guy stand up and check the wheelchair, even though it was a TSA wheelchair, it was an airport wheelchair, like he hauled it out and put a bomb in there. Why would this guy want to do this? Why would a, a little baby want to, uh, to blow up the airport? Maybe they thought Alec Baldwin put something in the baby's diaper. It's just complete idiocy. I don't know why people put up with this. And it's not just in your airport. You remember the report I did maybe two or three weeks ago now, where I went to the Austin airport and I asked people about the Viper teams. What do you think if the Viper teams show up to the Super Bowl? Well, most people really didn't care about that. But you know, we cared about that. So we're actually going to the Super Bowl. I myself will be part of a small crew that goes up to the Super Bowl in New Jersey. We got tickets to this excessively cold <laughs> Super Bowl. I don't know why they can't have a Super Bowl in Miami or San Diego, someplace where it's nice and warm. They want to have it in an open air stadium when they have, you know, six inches of snow. But regardless, we want to go out there and document the police state. We're going to document the Viper teams. And we have this article from Adon Salazar. TSA Super Bowl fans may encounter a Viper team. Well, Mr. Viper team or head of the Viper teams, if you are out there, you will encounter info wars because we don't want this tyranny going on in the United States of America. So we'll be out there. We'll be at the tailgate. We uh, may encounter the, the Viper teams at a checkpoint. We'll be inside the Super Bowl documenting any Illuminati, demonic, devil worship halftime shows, which I don't know. Uh, it's, I believe it's supposed to be the Red Hot Chili Peppers and Bruno Mars. I'm not sure how those guys are as far as, far as their, their performances. But, uh, yeah, we'll be out there. We'll be on scene, and you can see us right here in the InfoWars Nightly News, as well as the Alex Jones Radio Show. And we couldn't do things like this without your support. Just to do basic stuff, you know, like Alex says, you know, who wants to go out to the Super Bowl? Now, being in the state of Texas, we don't have cold gear, so we had to go out to the store and buy just basic coats and hats and stuff that we don't normally need in the state of Texas. And this is due to your support. When you go to prisonplanet.tv, when you get yourself a free trial, and you can get the Alex Jones Show, the nightly news, the special reports, the rants, and we do this stuff for you guys because we appreciate what you do, and in return, you support us and helps us go out and do more things. But not just Prison Planet, you can also go to the InfoWars shop. Many great products there. You can get the hats, the t-shirts, the bumper stickers, 
the, the InfoWars Life Supplies, the Nascent Iodine, the Survival Shield, the Super Male Vitality, all that is on InfoWars Shop and it supports our broadcast. Now that's it for this segment of the InfoWars Nightly News, but stay tuned because right after this break, we'll have highlights from the uh, tyranny in chief speech from last night, the State of the Union speech, the state of uh, the failing state, which is America. You can see those comments coming up right after this. And also we'll have the highlights from Alex Jones interviewing Gerald Salente today about the intimidation of the press. So stay tuned for both of those right after this break. Symbols are powerful, and the globalists have hijacked the symbols of America. They've turned them into their own symbols. Well, we are restoring the idea of the true republic, not the counterfeit globalist empire, by promoting the icon George Washington and others. That's why we're rolling out on a 100% Made in America line of incredible pro-liberty apparel. We are repopularizing liberty. We are helping fellow Americans. Americans rediscover what made this country great. We are the spirit of 1776. We are 1776 worldwide. We are all brothers and sisters in arms in the animating contest of liberty in the long march towards humanity's ultimate destiny of freedom. Visit madein1776.com today and vote with your dollars to promote truly made in America high quality products and promote the ideals of liberty. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Last night, InfoWars burned the midnight oil to give you the full State of the Union address, the state of the tyrant, the state of the dictator, to expose these lies and propaganda. And I just want to point out to people, you know, if this is your first time hearing this information, these type of things, and you're saying, why are these guys bashing Obama? I'm not pushing Bush or Clinton or anybody else. I'm not pushing Hillary 2016 or any of that. I just want people to realize the lies and the propaganda that they are being fed. And you say, what did he lie about? Okay, let's talk about uh, let's talk about Guantanamo, which we mentioned in our last segment. You know, he said he's going to shut down Guantanamo, didn't shut down Guantanamo. He said that you can keep your health care plan. Now you can't keep your health care plan. He's promised an old lady to her face that she could have a new home when he became president. They checked up on that lady. She never got anything. And these are the lies and the propaganda that you're continually being fed. And these people, they stand up and they clap. And oh, and, and they almost have tears in their eyes like they're at some rock concert because President Obama is on stage in a nice suit and he speaks nice and he, you know, he's reading off his teleprompter and everything looks great. But you know, it's looking great isn't being great. And we have to get past this that just because that, you know, he won the presidency or, you know, his wife is very personable or, you know, his kids take $5 million vacations to, to Mexico or whatever. You got to get past all that and realize that this man will go to Africa and tell Africans that they don't have the right to have, uh, to have air conditioning in their little hut. I'm not saying all Africans live in huts, but I'm just using that as an example. He'll just lie and give you all this crap and all this bull. So we decided to counter that. Myself, David Knight, Alex Jones, and Leanne McAdoo, we all sat right here in front of this TV to expose the lies and propaganda. You're doing what no foreign enemy can do. Yeah.